welcome to your full body morning flow to wake up with intention, supporting you living your day with purpose and following your truth. In this 30 minute morning flow, I encourage you to stay fully present while we are here on the mat together. Fully experience each breath, each movement, and each moment. Have your props ready nearby and I'll meet you seated on the mat. We'll join together in a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Rest your hands wherever is comfortable. Softly close your eyes. Take a moment to lengthen up through your spine. Find that nice long spine of yours. Shoulder heads draw up and back, creating space between your shoulders and your ears. Begin to notice your breath. Breathing in and out your nose. Typically in our morning practices, when I ask you to set an intention, I leave it 100% up to you. But today, I would like to propose an intention for you and allow it to be your mantra throughout the flow. I am awake. The meaning of this I want you to embrace is that you are living with purpose and following your truth. By returning to the mantra, I am awake, throughout the practice, you open the door to living in the present and evolving into the person you are meant to be. Being fully present is such a powerful way to truly experience every aspect of each moment. So as we flow and embrace I am awake, fully experience each breath, each movement, in each moment. Let's take a full breath in. And as you exhale, look over to the left, tending to our neck. Inhalation to center, and exhalation, look to the right. Breathe in, return to center. Soft smile upon your face as you open your eyes. And mirroring me, take a side body stretch to the right. Inhale up to center, exhale side body stretch to the opposite side, reaching your fingertips away as you spiral your chest open. Inhale to center, bring your right fingertips behind you and the opposite fingertips reach up and back. So rather than feeling this along your side body, you'll fit along the left front side. Circle your top arm down and place those fingertips behind you on the other side. And then your right fingertips reach up and back. And just like with our side body stretch, feel the lengthening sensation from your hip all the way up to your fingertips. And lower. Taking it into a shoulder stretch, crossing your left arm over your body. And the opposite hand comes below or above the elbow joint to gently press your arm towards your body. Keep space between your shoulders and your ears as you hold this. Release and extend your left fingertips to the sky. Bending at the elbow, lowering your hand behind you. And the opposite hand, clasp your elbow to gently draw it down. Release and let's take that to the other side. So your right arm crosses over your body and the opposite hand comes below or above the elbow joint to gently guide it towards your body. Shoulders soften away from your ears. Release and extend your right fingertips to the sky, bending out the elbow to lower your hand behind you, and the opposite hand clasp your elbow. Release and reach up, cactus your arms, and super slowly lower them down. Make your way to hands and knees for tabletop pose. And we'll take a few rounds of cat-cow, moving at your own feel-good pace. Reconnecting with our intention. I am awake. Fully experiencing each breath you take as you move from cat to cow. Noticing how the movement affects your body. 
listen to your body and take whatever feel good moves you need to along the way. Return to flat back, tuck your toes, and we'll slowly lift your hips to down dog. Continuing staying connected with our intention, I am awake. Stay fully present with your body within this pose. As you wake your body up, stretching out the back side of your legs, taking any feel good moves that are calling to you. Let's settle into stillness at center. Allow your heels to sink towards the mat. Your sternum yearns towards the mat. On your next inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right leg through. Lower your back knee to the mat for low lunge. Something was coming through the trees at this point, which caught Johnny and I's attention. We never saw what it was, but I'm guessing it was probably a chicken or two. It sounded a little larger though. All right, so on your next inhalation, we'll fan your arms, taking it into a twist to the right side space. Lower your back hand to your leg as the opposite arm reaches up and back keeping a generous bend in your front knee as you reach back. Return to your twist with arms extended long side to side. And then fan them down to frame your front foot. Taking half split pose next, so begin to slide your hips back in space as you straighten your front leg. I always like to use blocks here to help maintain length in my spine as I hinge forward at the hips. So feel free to do so. Uh, keep that front foot flexed, your toes reaching back towards your body. Check in with your hips to ensure they're square to the front of the mat. And then from here, let's tuck your back toes and then slowly lower your hips back towards your heel. Once you get there, keep your front foot flexed and then hinge forward at your hips, keeping a nice long spine. Go ahead and point your front toes, feeling that nice opening along the front side of your foot and your ankle and even up into your shin a little. Beautiful. Walk your palms forward, bending into your front knee, returning to low lunge. Then press up to runner's lunge. Lower your palms to the mat, and we'll step back to down dog. In down dog, go ahead and come to your very tip toes, and then let your chest press towards your thighs. And then beginning at your tailbone, wave your spine through and come into plank pose. With control, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. We'll be taking a hands-free cobra pose, so your palms underneath your shoulders, and on your next in-breath, peel your upper body off the mat using the muscles of your back. Your hands lift as well, and hold it there as you breathe. Lift a little higher. And on your next exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Palms under your shoulders, Tuck your toes and press yourself up to plank pose. Then lift your hips to down dog. Taking that sequence to the second side. On your next inhale, extend your left leg to the sky.
and then we'll exhale to step your left leg through near your left thumb lower your back knee to the mat low lunge your front knee stacks over your ankle On your next inhalation, we'll fan up your arms coming into a twist to the left side space. Lower your back hand to your leg as the opposite arm reaches up and back. Reach those fingertips back, feeling that nice lengthening sensation from your hips flexor traveling up. And then return to your twist with your arms extended long side to side. Fan your fingertips down to frame your front foot, taking our half split pose next. So slide your hips back, lining your hips over your back knee. Your front leg straightens, foot flex, toes reaching back towards your body. And with a long spine, hinge forward at your hips, letting your heart guide you forward. Check in with your hips. You want your right hip to draw forward a little bit as your left hip slides back, helping to square them up. Let's tuck your back toes and slowly lower your hips back to your heel. Keep your front foot flexed and hinge forward at your hips, your chest reaching you forward, maintaining length in your spine. Go ahead and point your front toes. I love this stretch on the front side of the foot, ankle, and shin. I find it to be such an amazing sensation that I rarely get to experience. Beautiful. Walk your palms forward, bending into your front knee, returning to low lunge. Then press up to runner's lunge. Palms kiss the mat and step back to down dog. In down dog, come to your very tippy toes, chest pressing towards your thighs, and then beginning at your tailbone once more, wave your spine through, coming to plank pose. With control, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. We're taking our hands free cobra pose, so on your next in breath, peel your upper body off the mat using the muscles of your back, your hands lifting up, Hold it there as you breathe. Go ahead and try to lift up a little bit higher. On your next exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Palms underneath your shoulders and press yourself back to a wide knees child's pose. Begin to tune in to what you are experiencing here in this moment within your body. Where you feel your heart beat at. The rhythm of your breath. The temperature of your body. Embracing the intention, the mantra of our practice. I am awake. Staying fully present with what you are experiencing in this very moment on the mat. On your next exhale, go down round forward coming to your hands and knees and then make your way to down dog. On your inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through towards your right thumb. Lower your back heel to the mat so your foot is parallel with that short edge of the mat. And fan your arms up coming into warrior two pose. As you do so, glance down to ensure your front heel bisects your back arch. And squeeze your shoulder blades together to help create space between your shoulders and your ears. Lower your back hand to your thigh. Flip your front palm and reach it forward up and back into peaceful warrior pose. Beautiful. Fan your top arm down, bringing your forearm to your front thigh. 
your back arm circles up and over so your bicep is in line with your ear for our side angle pose. Lift your gaze under your extended arm. And we'll fan back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg preparing for triangle pose. So heel toe your back foot into a comfortable stance. And once you're ready, we'll slide your hips back in space as you reach your front fingertips forward until they can't reach forward anymore and then lower to your shin, your ankle, or the mat. Opposite fingertips reach up to the sky. Go ahead and lift your gaze towards your extended fingertips. And let's rise up. Bend into your front knee, adjusting your stance back for warrior two pose. Then your back arm circles down and round and up as you pivot on your back foot coming into high lunge. And on your exhale, begin to hinge forward at your hips to come into a diagonal line in line with your back leg. A long line from your heel to your fingertips will hold it there. We're taking warrior three pose next. So let's bend into your back knee preparing to lunge yourself forward with control into warrior three pose. So your torso and your back leg in one long line, parallel with the ground. And then with control in one long line, begin to lift your torso while at the same time you're lowering your back leg. And then without using your hands, draw your knee in towards your chest. Moving into dancer pose. So from here, slowly lower your knee down through center as you draw your heel towards your seat. And as you do this, your left hand circles down to clasp the left inner ankle. Now find a point of focus and then when you feel steady and comfortable begin to press your left foot away from your body and as you do this your torso will naturally lean slightly forward. Keep your chest lifted and continue to reach your right fingertips towards the sky. Beautiful my friend. With control let's release your back foot and draw your knee in towards your chest once more. And exhale, lower your foot and lower a prayer to heart center. Take a moment here to reconnect with your intention. I am awake. Truly connecting with and experiencing every aspect of this moment. Let's breathe in and circle your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss the top and reach back. Take it into a back bend before you dive it down through center into forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway, finding your flat back. Exhale, melt forward. Step or hop back to plank pose, lower chaturanga. Press up to your upward facing dog. And now using the muscles of your pelvic floor, Let's lift your hips to down dog, taking that flow to the second side. On your next inhale, extend your left leg to the sky. And exhale, step it through towards your left thumb. Lower your back heel to the mat so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat and fan your arms up coming into warrior two. Let's gently press your front knee open, preventing it from collapsing inward. Lower your back hand to your thigh, flip your front palm and reach it forward up and back for peaceful warrior. Keep a generous bend in your front knee as you reach your fingertips back. Now we'll take it side angle pose, so fan your top arm down, bring your forearm to your front thigh, back arm circles up and over, so bicep tracks along with your ear. Knit your front ribs together as you spiral your chest towards the sky. Then we'll fan back to warrior two pose. Straighten your front leg, preparing for triangle pose, so heel toe your back foot into a comfortable stance. And once you're ready, we'll slide the hip back in space as you reach your front fingertips forward. And then lower to your shin, your ankle, or the mat. Opposite fingertips extend to the sky. Lift your gaze towards your extended fingertips. Feel length along your waist and your side body.
Let's rise up. Bend into your front knee, adjusting your stance for warrior two pose. Back arm circles down around and up as you pivot on your back foot coming to high lunge. On your exhale, hinge forward at your hips, coming into that diagonal line once more. Long line from your heel to your fingertips. And we're preparing for our warrior three pose. So let's bend into your back knee to lunge yourself forward with control into warrior three. Your torso and back leg in one line, parallel with the ground. This time, your right hip will lower a little to help square them up. And now with control in one line, lift your torso as you lower your leg. And without using your hands, draw your knee in towards your chest. We'll be moving into dancer pose. So lower your knee down through center as you draw your heel towards your seat. And then your right arm circles down to clasp the inside of your right ankle. Now find your point of focus. And when you are steady and you feel comfortable, begin to press your right foot away from your body into your hand. And as you do this, your torso, you'll feel it naturally start to lean forward, which is okay. But keep lifting up through your chest and continue to reach your fingertips up to the sky. If you stumble out like me, no worries. Just reestablish your foundation. Find your point of focus to help return to your balancing pose. With control, release your back foot. Draw your knee in towards your chest once more as your fingertips reach the sky. Exhale, lower your foot and then bring your hands prayer at heart. Truly connect with your body and with your breath. Let's breathe in and circle your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss the top, taking it back into a back bend before you dive it down through center. Forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway, finding your flat back. And exhale, melt forward. Palms lower to frame your foot to step or hop back to plank pose. Lower chaturanga, press up to your upward facing dog. And using the muscles of your pelvic floor, let's lift your hips to down dog. Lower knees to the mat for wide knees child's pose. Reconnect with your intention of the practice. I am awake opening the door to taking the tools of yoga off the mat and into the everyday. Striving to live in the present and evolving into the person you are truly meant to be. Slowly walk your palms back towards your body to rise up. Make your way to the center of the mat. We'll extend your legs out long, coming into straddle pose. Flex your feet, toes and kneecaps pointed up to the sky. And then mirroring me, slide your left forearm down your leg and lift your opposite arm up and over for a side body stretch. Then we'll slowly lower your top arm to the ground and then squaring your hips over the extended leg, go ahead and fold forward. So they walk yourself up to center and let's take that to the second side. So slide your right forearm down your leg and then the opposite arm reaches up and over for that side body stretch.
and we'll slowly lower your top arm like you're closing a clamshell. Go ahead and square your hips over your extended leg once you're lowered. And then we'll fold forward. Slowly walk yourself back up and come to center. Once you're at the center, go ahead and fold forward through center. Slowly walk yourself back up. Make your way to lying on your back. Once you're there, we're gonna wake up our core for the day with some bicycles. So place your hands at the base of your skull and draw your right knee and your left elbow towards one another. And then we'll switch drawing your left knee and your right elbow towards each other. Then we'll continue this and just do it at your own feel good pace sinking your breath with the movement. And as you do, stay in tune with your body as you bicycle. Stay connected, stay present, noticing the muscles that engage and disengage as you flow, noticing the muscles in your body that support you. Good work, my friend. Lower your soles of feet to the mat. We have two more core practices. For our next one, we'll extend both your feet up to the sky, flex your feet, and extend your fingertips to the sky as well, reaching them towards your feet. Now we're going to take pulses, lifting our fingertips up towards our feet. Now as you lift, you'll exhale, and whenever you exhale, snap your navel back to your spine. So it's very quick. Begin whenever you're ready. Take them at your own feel good pace and remember to stay fully connected and present in your body. Try not to zone out and disconnect to make it through. Tune into your body. Soften, hands to your knees and begin to draw circles with your knees. Switch directions. Lower your soles of feet to the mat. Then lift your feet up to the sky once more. This time, place both your palms face down slightly underneath your seat. This will help to support us for the next one. And with your feet up to the sky, breathe in and exhale lower about one fourth of the way. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower one third of the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower three-fourths of the way. And inhale, lift up. Let's take that again. Exhale, one-fourth of the way. Exhale, one-third of the way down. Lift up. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower three-fourths of the way. You got this. Inhale, lift up. Final round. Exhale, lower one-fourth of the way. Exhale, lower one-third of the way. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower halfway. Exhale, lower three force. Inhale, lift up. Good work, my friend. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself a big old hug. Rock it side to side a few times, massaging the space of your low back, releasing and unwinding from our flow. Bring hands to your knees as you gently guide them out side to side. 
I am awake. Lower soles of feet to the mat. Bring feet as wide as the mat and let your knees fall into center to kiss. And then just stroke your belly a few times, connecting to our personal power center and thanking it for all that it does for you. Extend your legs out long, arms taking up as much space as you need at your side. We're settling into Shavasana. So get any wiggles and scratches out so you can settle into complete stillness. We want every muscle of your body to soften and relax, letting the nutrients of our practice settle in. Bring one sole of the foot to the mat and then the other. Roll over to your right side. Take a full deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow breath out. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, go ahead and make your way to a comfortable seated position. We'll take one final moment to truly connect with our intention. I am awake. You are living with purpose and following your truth, opening the door to living in the present and evolving into the person you are meant to be. Big beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss at the top and bring all that love and light down to heart center. Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and thoughts of others. Hands lower to prayer at your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as you nourish your body. Hands lower to prayer at your heart, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat this morning. I hope you experienced a full body awakening and you take the tools of yoga off the mat and into your every day, supporting you living your day with purpose and following your truth. If you enjoyed the practice, please take a moment to throw the video a thumbs up and share it with others. If you haven't yet, Subscribe to my channel to get the latest yoga love practices released each week. From my heart to yours.